Hotkeys are cool because they let you instantly jump to a particular part of a song. And did you know that in Recordbox DJ, you can even change their colors and their labels for easier identification? I'm going to show you how to do just that in this video, so let's get to it. All right, so here's how to do it. Right now, you can see that I've got a track loaded over here on the left deck, and I've already got a couple of hotkeys placed over here, but they just don't mean anything. The color's the same, it's green, and also I only have a time code in there. It would be a hell of a lot better if I labeled these according to the song sections where they're placed, and I can also color code them because I already have my own color coding convention when it comes to hotkeys. For example, green is always my intro because I like doing this. Uh, it's the first color that pops up if I am DJing and you know I wanna add a hotkey while I'm spinning. I always place one at the very first beat and I press the pad on my controller and it's automatically green, so that's fine. But I do want to change the label over here. So instead of having it just 0000, I can right click and click add comments to the hotkey and then I can just type in intro. Cool, so that's done. Every time I press this, I know it's the intro. Now the next one is the verse. And I always change the color of this one and I make it blue. I just like the blue color. And let's go ahead and change this to verse. Cool, so now we've got green and blue and I can just color code the other bits in here. Chorus for the break. I love using yellow. And usually for the outro, I'll just have any other color. Just try this one. Hot pink. Cool, so now I've got my hotkeys color coded and I've also labeled them. They're easier to see. And when you plug your controller to your laptop, the color coded hotkeys also show up on the performance pads of your controller if you're using something like the DDJ1000, the DDJRZ, or the DDJR. Now, before we end this video, here's another tip for you. You can currently see that we are adding hotcues in a list, right? All the way down up to P. But it's kind of hard to visualize how these hotcues would show up on your controller. And there is a way to change this. Just head on over to your preferences. Make sure you're in view. Scroll down and go to pad mode. Click on customize and click on the drop down and choose pad display. Now the performance pads are gonna be laid out in the same way that you're going to find on your DJ controller, making them easier to place and also to label. So you can visualize these. So by the time that you get to your DJ controller and when you're gigging, it's automatically there and easy to spot. So that's it. I hope you liked this DJ tips and tricks video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.